I just <laughs> multiply God for what I've seen in the back. Um, can you all hear me in the back? Oh, yes. Ah, oh, well, great. Um, just in terms of what I do at LBI, part of the creative department, and kind of help um, run the creative department in terms of various teams. So I work with clients um, on one end of scale, and also if like kind of designers and technologists at the other end of scale to basically design and make and implement things. And our currency is really ideas, and things that we like to actually sell, or we try to sell more than anything is ideas. Um, the reality of that is that people buy things, in our uh, case it's very much in a digital context, it would be a website, an advertising campaign that runs online, or something that akin to those things. Um, and it's a great position, it's a fantastic job to work in, you actually get paid to have fun. Those who witness Friday evening will certainly have their testimony to that. Um, and it's, you know, it's a great position, but I think one of the things as well is that most people in the credit department, I'm saying most have probably come from some kind of, kind of art training, or they've had a very strong interest within the arts themselves. But I think what's quite interesting is that they, they work for an organisation here, they work for someone else, someone else is taking that pressure to pay their bills and to pay them a salary at the end. It's very different when you're an artist. And it was very interesting to kind of hear your story about how you got started. And I've been trying to think of lots of questions to ask. So I'm going to ask a few questions, then obviously we can throw it open to the floor. Um, I thought it was incredibly interesting the way that you went through and actually showed great resourcefulness to kind of, um, kind of like get started. And one of the things it reminded me a little bit of was how many people know of the kind of million dollar homepage? There's a few people sticking their hands up. Basically this is I think an 18, 19, 20 year old guy, a student who needed to earn some money. And he came up with this idea of what can I do? And actually it's a brilliant idea. When you analyse it, I spent quite a bit of time on Christmas time to kind of pick it to pieces and understand where it, you know, where it was very clever. And it was all driven by this kind of basic need, I want to make some money, and it kind of turned around into this notion of uh, also kind of trying to promote it as art. And it, I don't want to kind of demean the work you were doing, because I think that he was very much driven by this kind of very strong commercial aspect. But it kind of made me think about how the actual commercial world and the kind of art world are really quite intertwined. And that in our kind of naive, naive way, we kind of see artists as this kind of long suffering you know, person who's in some kind of little tent or kind of uh, attic beavering away, where the reality is actually quite different. Now, my first real question is how do you feel about this particular point? I remember having a conversation with a, a good friend of mine, he's a serial entrepreneur, and he actually knows quite a few artists, and he said that there's actually a lot of similarity between an artist and an entrepreneur. Both have a crazy idea. In most cases, they think they can change the world. They want to put the idea into practice. So they have to find someone to pay for that idea or help them promote it. And whether they can call in favours or get like-minded people to come on board and join them. And they go through quite a lot of struggle. And in most cases, uh, if you're an entrepreneur or an artist, I believe it's actually the struggle that's and I experience that that's part of, you know, the shape of what you do. But actually, I think it's really interesting that, you know, an entrepreneur, for example, Richard Branson, for example, we would never kind of think of him as an artist, yet he, he has a lot of um, similarities with an artist and vice versa. So I don't know how you just feel about that particular point. Um, well, maybe just do the one thing, but the one million dollar page, it's kind of funny, because when I was, um, when I came arriving and looked for the presentations here, I started to think about that idea as well, that actually maybe there was a pioneer idea for the one million <laughs> pixel um, um, uh, website um, when we rented out the platforms and renting out all the skills. But um, as I said, we always, um, well, I always did it in, a, in the art context, which is a different context. And, uh, and um, maybe, um, yeah, uh, uh, um, in the art, it's not from from the start. It's not based on making money. Of course, I mean, uh, contemporary artists also think of making money and paying the bills, and it's great when people sell actually their works and can make their living from it. Um, but um, I think the the approach is maybe different. But I agree that, as you said, an entrepreneur has a crazy idea and. Uh, um, 
maybe struggles enough or has a like really ambition to go through the struggle and he can make his way and um, that's why I always thought also that um, if you meet the right people in the corporate world they're not so far away from what the artists do and the other way around. <coughs> but still it's in most cases it's still considered like as a, such a taboo in the art world because people are very critical about artists um, or not just artists but also when museum rents out the space to a corporation for an event to make money. Um, people are very critical about it, but that's you know just the fact that the um, state uh, funding is not that great anymore and uh, museums have to find other ways to support their exhibitions or uh, the spaces and uh, but what I have thought that this is kind of like a stupid idea to rent out a space to cooperation or to find a sponsor for an exhibition and if the sponsor appears just as a logo of the invitation card, why can there be a way that these two uh, parties can work together and um, uh, it's more fun for the corporate work because they're part of the creative um, uh, solution and it's more fun for the artist because then you can also meet the people and tell them really what, what he needs. 